Hello everyone, this is Mr. Brain Junkie here, and today we'll be talking about a science fiction monster film called Big Snake 2. Be ready for some spoilers ahead. Somewhere in the oceans of Nigeria, a group of travelers are enjoying the sights of the surrounding area as a young girl is contemplating while staring inside the water. Suddenly, her father Gon scares her from behind while trying to tease her about the monsters that are inside the ocean. It turns out that they're celebrating for the girl's birthday, and the man decided to buy her a walkie-talkie for her present. The daughter is clearly not very impressed by the gift as she walks away in disappointment, and the crowd suddenly cheers while they see the dolphins jumping inside the water. What they don't realize is that the animals are actually running away from a giant creature that's hiding under the ocean. Very soon, the monster crashes into the boat and knocking everyone onto the ground as the entire vessel begins to flip over towards the side. All the people begin falling into the water as Gon tries desperately to save his daughter. The man eventually manages to grab onto the girl while he sees a giant shadow swimming inside the ocean and and the two are dropped into the water alongside all the other passengers. Sometimes later, Gon is slowly able to regain consciousness and quickly notices the chaos around the area while his daughter is nowhere in sight. The man searches desperately for the girl and surprisingly begins hearing her voice from the walkie-talkie. Very soon, the people start noticing that there are more survivors on the adjacent side and tries to signal for the others right away. The father is able to see the daughter amidst the crowds and decides to head towards her immediately, but is quickly stopped by a strange who notices that something is very wrong. While the survivors are shouting towards the people, they slowly realize that something big is moving behind them, which turns out to be a giant serpent that towers over everyone. The people yell for the survivors to run as the monster launches in towards the humans and sending them flying into the air. The father rushes immediately towards the girl, while the serpent continues devouring the people and tossing everyone into the sky. Gon charges forwards against the raining corpses but is quickly stopped by a stranger who tries to save his life. The daughter looks towards her father in the last moment, before the monster devours her in a single bite, and causing the man to scream in agony. The giant snake swallows the humans and decides to leave the area, while the people are devastated by the attack as they join together and try to comfort each other for their losses. Gon continues to cry for his daughter's death, but surprisingly, he begins hearing a signal from the walkie-talkie and decides to go after the girl immediately. Luckily, many others have also chosen to join the rescue mission, including a bearded man called Mao who decides to lead the volunteers to hunt down the giant beast. The group head towards the forest while the people warn them that it's a suicide mission, but the crowd quickly falls into chaos as they find out that none of their cell phones are working. Suddenly, a man is quickly pulled away from the crowd, and the people slowly realize that something is wrong as they're being hunted down like praise. Everyone began to run away from the area, leaving only a single man who's too slow to react, while he's quickly grabbed onto by the massive tentacle and pulled away to his death. At the same time, the giant serpent has returned to its nest, and begins spitting out all the people from its stomach while forming a mountain of bodies on the ground. The creature roars furiously before leaving the area to collect even more food, and surprisingly, a few people were able to survive the entire process. The vice captain of the ship is the first person to wake up, but soon finds out that it's almost impossible to escape the area as he stares into the massive hole on the ceiling. Very soon, the man begins noticing another person inside the piles of body and pulls out the victim immediately, who turns out to be a middle-aged businessman. He continues rescuing even more people who survived the attack and is eventually able to find the main character's daughter who's luckily still alive. The vice captain tries to get the others to help Help, but they're either too scared or too selfish, like the businessman who's only concerned about escaping from here. The sailor quickly finds another woman lying on the ground, but unfortunately she's gravely injured and appears to be paralyzed as well. What's even worse, the businessman appears to have located something even more terrifying as the vice captain stares in shock after seeing the numerous eggs inside the cave. The man tries to examine the objects, but is quickly stopped by the girl who tells them that the eggs 
eggs may hatch at any time. The people become hopeless as they realize that they'll probably die very soon, and the businessman quickly grabs onto a rock as he tries to kill the newborns before they're hatched. However, the man suddenly stops when he feels vibrations from inside the egg as a giant serpent crawls out from behind the shells and causing the people to run for their lives. The team rushes towards a rock and tries to hide behind it while the monster slowly crawls out and heads directly for the people. Before the serpent can attack the humans, it quickly notices the paralyzed woman on the floor and changes the target immediately. The monster charges towards the helpless victim as she continues to cry out for help, but the people are too afraid to intervene which causes her eventual death. At the same time, the people continue towards the center of the forest as they follow the tracks that are left behind by the creature, but only finds death everywhere that they go. After spending hours looking for the monster, they begin losing the animal's track and eventually becomes lost as well. As they try to figure out what to do next, Mao notices something strange as black liquids begin to leak out from the trees nearby. Very soon, the old man decides to light a cigarette but ends up lighting the entire place on fire as the black liquid seems to be very flammable. Luckily, Mao is able to put out the flames while choking the people inside the fumes. However, things quickly go wrong as Gon begins to have a strong headache, and seeing that all his friends are smiling at him with evil intent, he starts noticing the giant serpent crawling beside him and eventually hears the voice of his daughter, who blames the man for not saving her in time. Suddenly, a large snake appears in front of his face and begins choking the man to death as he struggles desperately to break free, but is sprayed on by a stream of water. It turns out that the man was only hallucinating after breathing the fumes, and they quickly notice that the others are being dragged away by the tree vines while being unconscious. The giant plant begins releasing even more tentacles while they try desperately to wake up the people and free them from the bindings. They are able to save almost everyone except for the sailor, who was dragged away towards the tree as the vines begin to consume the man's blood and killing him as a result. The people watch in shock as the plant starts moving towards them, and they have no choice but to escape from the area. At the same time, the people inside the monster's cave were able to kill the newborn serpent, but not before the creature has already consumed its victim. When the businessman finally finishes bashing the monster's head, he becomes out of control as he starts blaming everyone for what's happening to him. He starts fighting against the other survivors, but the woman named Sushi tells them to stop immediately as they have to work together to survive. Meanwhile, the rescue team continues searching for the giant serpent, as Mao prepares a weapon for the main character, realizing that there's likely more dangers ahead. One of the team members called Fan goes towards the river to collect some water, but soon notices that something is wrong as a stream of heavy fog begins to surround the area. Suddenly, a flying creature rushes by, and the man is shocked to see that the animal is a fish with giant teeth. The creature jumps towards him once again, as it tries desperately to bite off the man's face, but Fan is able to toss away the monster immediately. Very soon, he begins hearing strange noises from inside the fog, as countless piranhas are charging at the man. Fan runs towards the people immediately as the animals chase him closely behind and forcing everyone to escape right away. The people try desperately to avoid the flying carnivores while the leader begins striking the creatures by using his axe, but the enemy's numbers are clearly too great. The people have no choice but to hide behind the trees as Mao tries to fend off the animals and giving his teammates a chance to escape, but ends up hurting himself as well. The flying monsters eventually return with greater numbers, which forces Mao to retreat just like the rest of his team. Luckily, the people soon find out that the creatures only travel to where there's fog, which prompts everyone to rush towards the clearings immediately. The monsters follow the humans closely behind as the people run desperately for their lives, and they're eventually able to exit the fog while escaping the enemy's attacks. They roll onto the ground to evade the animals, and seize the countless fishes dropping towards them as all the creatures quickly die without the fog. Before the people can relax, Mao quickly discovers something even more disturbing as he finds a giant footstep on the ground, which can only belong to a massive creature. The man looks around in fear as he realizes that they're still in danger, while Fan begins noticing sticky liquids on his shoulder that's clearly not his own. The man
man looks up slowly towards the tree and is shocked to find a giant creature which resembles a massive slug. The people are stunned by the size of the monster as the army boy begins throwing rocks at the creature but stops immediately after seeing a giant tentacle grab onto the bug. The creature is pulled away in blinding speed as the people realize that something even more dangerous is hiding inside the forest. Suddenly, a huge monster jumps into the air and crashes down right beside everyone, revealing itself to be a giant frog. The people are shocked to see the enormous creature, while the enemy roars furiously at the humans. The team tries to run away immediately as the massive frog spits out its tongue and grabbing onto the old man while pulling him backwards. He quickly holds onto a tree and tries to save himself, allowing the people to run towards him as they try to pull back their friend. Realizing that their combined strength is not enough against the giant creature, the soldier boy tries cutting off the tongue but only ends up burning himself by the monster's blood. Luckily, Mao charges out towards the battleground while holding a sharp stick and throws the weapon towards the enemy while piercing the creature right in the eye. This causes the monster to let go immediately as it struggles in pain while giving the people a chance to escape. The creature launches off into the air once again as the people run desperately for their lives. The monster is able to jump across the forest and charge right towards the humans but is quickly grabbed onto by the massive serpent. The people watch in fear as the giant monster devours the frog into its belly before the creature turns the attention towards the group and forcing everyone to run. They sprint across the forest while trying to escape from the pursuer as the giant serpent leaves nothing but destruction on its path while chasing after the people. The monster is quickly able to single out the army boy and the old man as they were both wounded from the previous fight. The two jump into the dense forest immediately while the monster launches directly at them but is unable to get through the trees that are blocking its way. Fan tries to save the people by distracting the creature which causes the snake to turn the attention towards him and chases him across the field. The enemy tries to devour the man but Fan is able to escape just in time as he manages to lose the creature inside the plants. The other people rush towards the trees and tries to hide as well, but the giant monster is closing in towards their location very rapidly. Very soon, the massive creature approaches the army boy as it begins to pick up his scent and scaring the man so much that he starts having bladder problems. His worst fear eventually becomes true as he realizes that the monster is staring at his face, forcing him to desperately beg for his life. Unfortunately, the the creature does not speak any Chinese and proceeds to devour the man into its belly. The people are shocked to see that their friend is killed, which prompts everyone to run away from their hideout and making the monster chase them once again. They eventually make it towards a cliff and jumps into the water below, which causes the creature to lose sight of its prey immediately. The mud is able to hide the human's body temperature, which confuses the monster as it essentially renders the people invisible. The giant serpent has no choice but to leave the area and allowing the people to live on by the skin of their teeth. Very soon, the survivors inside the cave begins hearing vibrations, which causes them to play dead immediately as the creature has come back to deposit the victims. However, the giant snake eventually notices the body of the hatchling, causing the monster to scream furiously as it leaves the area in anger. The people get up once again and the businessman has become insane with trying to survive as they realize that the other eggs are about to hatch. Very soon, more snakes are getting out from the shells and moving slowly towards the humans, while the people quickly run towards the large opening as they leave the young girl behind. Surprisingly, the hatchling does not eat the girl immediately as she tries to make contact with the animal instead. She manages to show the young creature that she's not the food, and tricking it into thinking that she's the mother. The other people struggle desperately to get out by trying to push the businessman onto the vines, but only ends up getting kicked by the man, which triggers the monster's aggression. The creature launches towards the escaping survivors and grabs onto the unlucky victim while strangling the man to his death. The businessman is able to climb out, but spares no time to save the others as he chooses to run away instead. The creature soon swallows the poor victim, and the people become hopeless as there is no other way to escape anymore. At the same time, the rescuers have found a strange building in the middle of the forest and decides to go inside to seek shelter. The people quickly find out that the place is actually a laboratory with a skeleton of a soldier that's from a long time ago. They look through the books to find out about the 
truth and realizes that the people were experimenting on the creatures of this island, which eventually made them into monsters. Luckily, Mao is able to find a communications device inside the building and manages to make batteries from the chemicals to power the machine. He begins sending out Morse code towards the ocean, hoping that the rescue team can pick up on their signals. Surprisingly, a stranger runs inside the building who turns out to be the businessman, and the people questions him immediately about the other survivors. However, the man lies right in their faces, telling the group that everyone else have died a long time ago and completely destroying the people's hopes. Gon begins walking outside in despair while Mao tries to stop his friend and causing the man to cry hopelessly on the ground. The next day, the people quickly wake up after hearing the sound of a helicopter, suggesting that their signal actually worked. The businessman rushes out immediately, while Gon finds it hard to celebrate the escape, but manages to receive a signal from his daughter before he leaves. The people rush towards the helicopter in a frenzy, but the aircraft fails to see the survivors who are being covered by the forest. Gon runs towards the group to tell them about his daughter's signal, while the businessman continues to claim that everyone is already dead. The people find it hard to believe the main character and thinking that he's gone crazy, but changes their mind immediately after hearing the girl's voice. The businessman sees this and runs away immediately while the old man chases after him, demanding to know what he did to the others. Gon realizes that his daughter is close by and runs off alongside the others to find the survivors, while even more snakes are hatched from the eggs and moving towards the girls. At the same time, the businessman is able to make it towards a clearing and is quickly spotted by the helicopter which begins heading his way. Suddenly, a giant monster launches towards the aircraft and destroys it completely while leaving the man in despair. He tries to sneak away from danger but is quickly tackled by the old man who demands to know where the others are. However, the grandpa is no match for the opponent as he gets knocked away towards the side and slowly strangled by the enemy until he stops moving completely. Meanwhile, the survivor survivors are being surrounded by the new hatchlings that are hungry for food, but they're quickly stopped by the serpent who thinks that the girl is the mother. This gives them the chance to back away as they begin to hear the father's voice in the ceiling who has managed to find their location. The man runs towards the entrance right away as he finally sees the daughter and is able to throw down a tree vine to save the people's lives. The snakes approach the girls quickly as the main character tries to pull them up, but he's forced to stop immediately as he notices something terrifying. It turns out that the giant serpent has returned to its nest as it roars furiously towards the man, but Mao charges out just in time and slashes the creature right on the eye. The monster struggles in pain, giving Gon a chance to continue pulling the girls up, while Mao is forced to fight the monster alone as he dodges the creature's attacks. However, the serpent recovers quickly and launches towards the man once again, but is countered immediately as Fan throws a spear that lands right onto the creature's other eye. Mao sees this and begins chopping at the tree vines, eventually activating a trap that strikes the monster backwards using tremendous force, but also knocks over Gon as well. The man tries desperately to hold on to his daughter, but the vice captain charges out and grabs onto the girl from below. Surprisingly, the man pushes her towards her father while sacrificing himself in the process and allowing the girls to live. The man is eventually able to pull the survivors up as the people are finally together again, and it turns out that Sushi was actually Fan's girlfriend. Before the people can relax, the monster slowly regains consciousness once again, and forcing the humans to run immediately away from the area. At the same time, the businessman continues hiding for his life, but is tripped over ironically by the old man's body, which causes him to fall right back into the monster's nest. Very soon, all the hatchlings begin to quickly surround him, and strangling him to death by using their enormous bodies. Meanwhile, the main character manages to bring the people towards the grass fields, but Mao realizes that they cannot outrun the creature forever. He decides to stay alongside Fan to lure the enemies away, and giving the other survivors a chance to escape. The monster rushes towards the people immediately as Mao charges directly at the serpent, but nearly gets killed by the creature as it smashes down towards the man. Mao is able to recover quickly and slices the monster by using his axe, but the attack was not effective at all as he gets knocked away by the creature's massive tail. Luckily, Fan is able to save the man from being killed as they both run the opposite way to 
lure the monster into the forest. The giant serpent chases the people furiously as they make it back towards the trees with the flammable liquids. The team tries to hide immediately away from the enemy as the creature crawls through the area while searching for its prey. The giant monster slowly approaches behind the trees and eventually manages to locate Fan as it prepares to devour the man. Luckily, Mao is able to startle the creature and catch it off guard, causing the monster to run away as it realizes that it's a trap. The man dips the torch inside the flammable liquids and chases after the giant serpent immediately. At the same time, Gon has decided that he must go help the others while telling his daughter to run away alongside the girl. The man begins charging the other way, but soon sees the other man appearing in front of him and telling him to run, which makes him realize that he's making a big mistake. Gon turns around immediately, only to see the monster approaching his daughter and devouring her in a single bite. The man watches hopelessly as the creature swallows the girl and decides to fight the monster by himself as he tries to avenge his family. He rushes towards the creature and tries to pierce the snake, but only ends up failing miserably as he gets knocked away like a ragdoll. The giant serpent quickly surrounds the man as Gon slowly gets up to his feet, only to stare into the massive monster who screams furiously towards him. However, Mao shows up just in time alongside the flaming torch, which is able to catch the creature's attention by raising his temperature. The monster quickly chases after the man as he lures the enemy back into the forest. He runs across the flammable liquids once more as the giant serpent chases him closely behind and covering its body inside the chemicals. The man takes the chance and throws the fire at the monster that's charging towards him while lighting up the black liquids and covering the creature inside the flames. The monster rushes out immediately as it tries to run for its life, but eventually ends up falling towards the ground as it turns into charcoal. Gon sees the burning creature and quickly rushes in to try and save his daughter, managing to grab onto the girl's hand and slowly pulling out her body as well. The people place the girl onto the ground as the man tries desperately to revive his daughter, and after much of his efforts, she's able to regain consciousness consciousness once more. So what do you guys think about this movie? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.